Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Kathy. I made a grocery holder. In childhood, everyone dreams of being something. I had a dream too, and I have forgotten for a long time. One day, my five-year-old daughter asked, Was your dream a painter? How did you know? I asked. And she said, Grandma told me. Yes, I dreamed of being a painter in my childhood. I liked to draw sketches and to play with colors. I was always happy with that dream. I'm living as a maker and designer now. It's something similar to a painter. But instead of working for a living, I just wanted to have time to follow my dream. Something that is not related to money. So I started to draw something these days. I'm working on painting wooden whales. Just explore the coloring of whale shape. Coloring a whale seems an easy point to start because every time I try to draw, I don't know what to bring. I choose a whale because it's a kind of symbol of a dream. Who knows, one day I might make a big, big, huge whale with macaron colors. <laughs> Naturally, I'm using watercolors and acrylic, so I use brushes for that. I needed something to store my brushes, so I thought I should make one. So I made it. Now, I'm gonna show you how I made it. <laughs> First, I measure the brushes that I use often, 12 cm or 10 cm. The height would be this much. I'm going to make holes like this. Two squares in the middle will be fit. It's easy to assemble. I made a file and cut it with CNC. I dug holes to put a brush on the bottom as well. I need to make a file to distinguish between the parts that need to be half cut and the parts that need to be clear cut. Now that the cutting has done, pre-assemble to see if the parts fit well. The next step is standing. The edge of the hole rounded because of the thickness of the blade. I sharp the end with a chisel and color knife after the cutting. Make sure that the middle part fits okay. A round edge will go well with round shape, so I trimmed. I trimmed every part so that the brush will in and out without bothering. The last process is sanding by hand. Sometimes the edge of the wool could peel off by the sanding machine. I mixed two colors of wood fillers and fill the broken edge. Otherwise, it might get fall off. Put a block. I needed a waterproof finish because I'm going to put wet brushes in the holder. Twice, I applied carefully. It's time to assemble. I marked where the finishing nail will go. Apply bond, assemble, and fix with the finishing nail. I clamped it while the bond was dry to fix it tightly. I made a little mistake. One hole here missed when I make a file with a CNC. So I'm going to give unique points here. I will put my channel name on it. Make an illustration file and cut it on the hot transfer paper. Remove unnecessary parts and prepare iron. Choose well to put the letters and fix it with tape. Iron it. Heat transfer paper sticks to the surface by iron. The project of brush holder with a logo has done like this. It's more useful than I thought. It's nice to be able to carry lots of brushes easily. 
Best of all, I put wet brushes on the holder so I no more worry about the brush getting damaged. I enjoy making those useful stuff. If you are wondering what I will make next time, please subscribe to this channel and I will see you in the next video.